Hello, Data Pros. Welcome back to another exciting video in our Databricks learning series. Today, we're exploring the Databricks Command Line Interface, or CLI, a powerful tool for automating tasks on Databricks. With the help of CLI, you can manage your Databricks workspace from terminal and integrate Databricks with external tools like job schedulers or perform actions on your Databricks as part of your CI CD workflows. Let's dive right in and set it up on my Windows machine. First, head over to the official Databricks documentation. I have also provided this link in the video description. Once you're there, choose the preferred installation method based on the operating system you'll be using to interact with Databricks. And follow the instructions over there. After installation, you can verify that the Databricks CLI is installed correctly by running the Databricks version command. If it's installed properly, you'll see the version details pop up. If not, try restarting your command prompt and running it again. All right, now it's time to set up authentication. The quickest way to do this is with a personal access token. To generate one, go to your Databricks workspace, click on your profile icon, open settings and find the developer section. From there, you can create a new token. Once you have the token, make sure to store it somewhere safe as it won't be shown again. Now go back to your terminal and type Databricks configure. It'll ask for your Databricks workspace URL, so copy the base URL and paste that in. Then copy paste the token you just created. When that's done, you'll notice a configuration file has been created in your home directory. If you're on Windows, you can find it using the percent user profile percent shortcut. We're all set. Now close and reopen the terminal and check if you can run commands that can interact with your Databricks workspace right from your terminal. Great. I just tried listing all clusters in my workspace, and it worked as expected. You can use this help command to know about all possible commands that you can use in the CLI. I've demonstrated a single command directly on the terminal prompt, but once the CLI is set up, Databricks commands can also be included as part of scripts, like these examples, which can then be scheduled or triggered as needed using cron schedules, enterprise job schedulers, or CI CD pipelines. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more Databricks topics. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay notified of our latest videos. Thanks for watching.